Where's the place on the side of light? Ever pour it out of the gleams of light? You're the light that makes my face shine bright. Good morning, how are you doing? Welcome to a brand new month. Praise the Lord. Open heavens for today, 1st December 2023. Our topic for today is transfer of anointing, part 3. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse is taken from Acts chapter 5, verse 15. Insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. Our Bible text is from Numbers 11, 24 to 27. Verse 24, and Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord and gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the 70 elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. Verse 26, but there remained two of the men in the camp. The name of the one was Eldad and the name of the other was Medad. And the Spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but went not out unto the tabernacle, and they prophesied in the camp. Verse 27. And there ran a young man and told Moses, and said, Elder and Meldad do prophesy in the camp. Praise the Lord. Our message for today reads, Over the past two days we have discussed conduction and convection as methods of transferring anointing. Today we will discuss a third method called radiation. Radiation in this context refers to when the anointing is transferred through the air without any form of physical contact. This is the highest form of transferring of anointing. We see the transfer of anointing by radiation in Acts chapter 5, 12 to 16, where Peter did not touch the sick at all. They were only laid on the floor and a shadow healed them. Anointing can be transferred from the preacher on the altar to someone sitting in the congregation or even through a television set, radio, phone, and so on. With the millions of people who attend our programs in the redemption camp, it is impractical to lay hands on everyone. So God increased his anointing upon me and made it possible for me to just wave my hands from the altar and even people at the back of the auditorium will be healed. As the crowd grew even more, God increased the anointing so that it could be transferred through a combination of both radiation and conduction. Now, when I wave my hands and pray on people's handkerchiefs, those handkerchiefs become anointed and the Lord works miracles through them. There was a fellow who came to one of our programs during which, as led by the Lord, I said, whatever garment you are wearing today is anointed. The following week, the man was going to walk in his car and there was a crowd blocking his way. So he packed to find out what happened. He saw that a vehicle had knocked somebody down. He saw that a vehicle had knocked someone down and the fellow was dead. He suddenly remembered that the jacket he was wearing was the one he wore on the Holy Ghost night. So he pushed the people aside, took his jacket, laid it on the dead man, and the fellow got up. Anointing was transferred to the clothes by radiation. Then the clothes transferred the anointing to the dead fellow by conduction. Praise the Lord. Our prayer for today is, Father, anoint me so powerfully that just by waving my hands, the sick will get healed. Say, Father, anoint me so powerfully that just by waving my hands, the sick will get healed. Father, anoint me so powerfully that just by waving my hands, the sick would get healed. A Bible in one year is 1 Corinthians 10 to 13. Our aim for today is in RCCG in 15. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Wishing you a beautiful new day. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow by God's grace. Bye.